Good morning, video world. Uh, I'm back from uh, that race up in Iowa. And uh, I think probably about, oh, maybe four people had asked me about the air shifter that was on uh, Janie's bike. How, what, what did I do? And I didn't give out a whole lot of information except that uh, uh, I hooked it up and I was waiting to see until we got the bike running um, and, you know, done a little bit more racing with it before. Um, and, and another thing. I hadn't read any information from um, the Suzuki manual um, as far as any references as the what, how many milliseconds the kill time was set at, um, what was actually done from the factory. Um, as you know by uh, me and talking on videos, um, um, and I always reiterate, I'm a bracket racer. <clears throat> I'm not trying to get these bikes to go as fast as they can go. Um, I'm trying to get these bikes to be a consistent bracket bike so this thing can make me some, these things can make some money. I'm just being honest with you. So <clears throat> um, I do got a fast bike back in the back uh, that I'd actually built uh, and set up the do KOG. Um, I found out how difficult and how much money was, it wasn't difficult, how much money was needed to be spent on that thing. And just honestly, um, when I done that bike, um, I found out, hey, the best way to tune and deal with one of those bikes was to go to take the whole factory system off ecu system go to a standalone so on my kog bike i went and um i have max ecu on it so when there's uh, issues uh i just get in that max ecu and change things around the way i want to so uh, needless to say these is i'm these these bikes that i'm setting up these 2022s, these are basically bracket bikes. They're not, I'm not trying to go the fastest in the world. So I'm not trying to, I'm not going to give out any bad information. I'm going to give out information that I got from a book. Uh, I don't think that I'm smarter than a technician that's walk, working for a, a multi-billion dollar company. Um, so a long story short, um, I, uh, got this second bike in and I had been waiting to uh, get this bike in so, um, I can play now. Um, I wanted to set Janie's bike up so that, uh, we could actually get out and start testing, um, the bike for bracket races and get her set up. And I knew once I got it set up and she started running that thing consistently, that's where I wanted to be. I didn't care about how fast it was. Um, consistency in what we do, that's what make money. So now I've got her in line. Her bike is running. That thing, um, on the next video, I'll put up some time tickets um, that she ran at this race and you could see, you'll be able to see how consistent that bike running, it running dead on. She, if she do what she needed to do, that bike already now, that thing, um, uh, it was going down the track and we, I think we were, we were dialing, putting in, uh, 26s with it and, uh, it was running 27, 27 with a five, 27 with a four, um, uh, 20, I think it backed off a couple of times, 28. Um, then she was able on a couple of races just to, the she chopped down the tree on somebody. So she was able to just drop throttle at the end. So I couldn't get 
but just run after run after run. When she had to stay in that throttle, that thing was sitting down there. Um, it wouldn't, it wouldn't break out and it wouldn't, it wouldn't run no faster to break out. It was just laying down through the track. Well, that's what you need for a bracket bike. So needless to say, what I was waiting on though, um, I remembered I was up there and after they asked me those questions about the um, air shifter and the keel time. Well, I remembered, heck, we was racing for BMW dealership out of St. Louis back in 2010. And I remembered, I said, well, I've got the books and some of the records. Because in 2010, the BMW already had every option that this new Hayabusa has on it as far as, uh, um, I think the only option that the BMW didn't have was this heel assist thing that's on this new Hayabusa where I guess you, it, it assists you with taking off on a heel or ro the, letting the bike roll back or whatever it is. Um, us drag racers, we ain't, we ain't even, uh, I ain't interested in that. So I don't believe the BMW had that on there. And the BMW didn't have the um, two-step. It didn't have a two-step. But everything else that BMW had on it, because uh, I, when I came in the shop, I realized and I remembered, I said, well, heck, there's, there's, where are we at here? There we are. There's pictures of in 2010. We were already running a BMW. Then Janie, I believe, what is that saying? 20, 2014, she won a championship. Uh, and that at that time, I had two. I had just gotten two 2014 BMWs. So... Once I, I realized that, I said, well, heck, I've got some numbers. And I, I said, I got in the book somewhere what I did to defeat or get around that air shifter system because I didn't change anything in the ECUs. I didn't go to cutting wires or doing anything. And so lo and behold, I looked around. And I found a book from back then, and I got it here. And it says that I, I got written down here that I had the kill time set on them BMWs at 63 milliseconds um, of kill time. Now I'm going to go back and find out <clears throat> here shortly within the week or so what I what I did to, de to, to get that determination and how I actually set the system up. Because um, we have on this new bike in between the shift um, another somebody that I guess is a motorcycle technologist i don't know he came and told me he says hey you're <laughs> now you gotta now listen to me now Janie's racing against this fella okay he getting he and he said on the last pass sounds like your kill time is kind of long on that bike i was thinking to myself i said well if the kill time was long I, I had to be nice. I said, yeah. I said, yeah, I understand it. I, I, well, I'll, I'll fix it when I get into the shop. And I was thinking to myself, I said, well, <laughs> you're getting ready to see that. You're getting ready to get an understanding that uh, whatever it's doing is doing it consistently. And a wind light is getting ready to come on. <laughs> and I guess he figured that out when he got to the end of the track. I hope he didn't figure it out too late, but he figured it out. Anyway, mm, um, I was waiting on 
the 2022 Suzuki Hayabusa manual. And uh, Lord knows when I got back, it was here. It's the thickest book. Man, it's got some stuff in it. But I get to study up now about, I need to find out from the factory, did they preset this kill timing on this bike? I need to find out what they done from the factory. Because I don't, I'm not going to get on the, on here on the uh, uh, Facebook America, whatever you want to call it, YouTube show, whatever. Um, I call it video world. I'm not going to get on video world and put out some numbers and say the bike needs this and it needs that. And I haven't even done any research, but I did remember from BMW, we had, I'd already went through this same synopsis back in 2010 and 2014. And we stopped racing uh, those BMWs in 2016. So way back then I was dealing with this same air shifter situation and I can't remember what I did to get the bike. Uh, but I tell you what, she was winning championships with it. So that means I done something right. So long story short, once I get this, uh, I, I got this other bike now. And um, man, I got that thing. So now finally I can play. So I also went back and I went back in the shop and I found a BMW book. And... Um, I'm going to look at the parameters on what's in here and then look at the parameters of, on what's in this new um, Hayabusa book. So in probably about a week or so, um, I'll, I'll make another video showing what I learned from the book. Now, I ain't, I'm not going to be guessing. I'm not going to be saying, oh, it was this or I think it's that. I'm going to have some numbers down factual from what these books say and what these engineers put in here. And then um, I'll make start making some adjustments uh, from there. But other than that, um, just stay tuned, I guess, in a week or so. or Like I say, whenever. Um, I don't think racing is going to hold me up. I'll have some numbers. And uh, uh, then I'll, I'll make a video of, of, of what I found out. So until then, like in all my videos, bye-bye. Thank you.